My name is Grania and I'm absolutely delighted to be part of this online concert series. There's lots of great concerts happening this week um, through the festival so make sure you do check those all out and if you've missed any I think you can still catch up on the Facebook page. Um, so I'm going to start off with a couple of tunes by Marie Nimona and Liz Carroll. The first one is called Gap of Dreams and the second one is Anne Lacey's. <laughs> So it was um, a bit of an experiment trying to transfer this over to the harp. So this is Drifted by Andy McKee.
couple of tunes. The first one is a tune by Una Monaghan, which I learned from her latest album, which is an absolutely fantastic CD, um, and you should all go and buy it. And I'm going to follow it with, a, with a, another tune called Tomic of Oaks.
with a couple of jigs. The first one is Malcolm's New Fiddle, which was written by Jerry Holland, and then Princess Nancy by Liz Carl. <laughs> Hello, thank you very much for tuning in to this online concert series and thank you to Cardinal Kircha for having me. My name is Aoife Blake and I will be playing this half of the lunchtime concert today. For the first tune I'm going to play a piece by the great harper composer Sherlock O'Carlin called Carolyn's Well. Thank you. 
Now, the second set of tunes I'm going to play today is a set of old time tunes called Old Beech Leaves and Sheep and Hogs Walking Through the Pasture. So you could say old time music is like the traditional music of North America around the Appalachian Mountains. And it would have its origins in music from Europe, such as Irish traditional music or Scottish music, um, because of migration and colonisation over in America. And it would also have influence from African music and African rhythms. So the first tune, Old Beach Leaves, I learned from Ryan McCauley, who is a five-string banjo player from Dundalk. And after I learned that, I heard it again on an album by an American banjo player called Adam Hurt and his album is called Earth Tones. So then I learned that tune and the tune after it from that album um, and when I play them on the harp I, I try and emulate the style of like the old time style and the five string banjo style. So I hope you enjoy these old time tunes on the harp. I'm actually going to sing a song called I Hear a Dream and I'll follow that with a tune called Elk River Blues. Now this song isn't a traditional song, it's actually an old popular song that dates back to the late 1930s and it was sung by Vera Lynn who was an English singer, songwriter and entertainer um, back at that time and she actually just passed away there recently at the age of 103 um, so that, um, that brought this song back into my head. And I think it's a suitable song for the last few months that we've had because it talks about missing, being away from your loved ones and missing them, um, which I think we've all had a bit of over the last few months. Um, and the tune that I'm going to play after it is called Elk River Blues, which is another old time fiddle tune.
tune I first heard years ago on the Martin Hayes and Dennis Cattle album called Welcome Here Again and I've just loved it ever since I was a teenager um, and Dennis Cattle is a compliment I've always admired it and I've always enjoyed listening to him and I think his accompaniment would have an influence on the way I play um, especially this tune and over the lockdown I've been playing this a little bit and just enjoying the nice calm easy going nature of it so Hopefully you enjoyed as well.
finish up now with a set of jigs. But before I finish, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Cardi Nakurta for having me here to perform this this online concert. Um, I'd love to be there in person, but it's great to still be able to do it online when while things are the way they are. Um, a big thanks to Louth County Council and the Arts Council for their support of this festival and for enabling this to all go ahead online. Um, so I'm going to finish up with a set of jigs called The Haunted House and the second tune is one I wrote myself called Casa Temple and it's actually the first tune that's on my debut album which I just released a few months ago and um, if you'd like to check that out it's called The Green Hills um, and it's on all, it's easy to find on the internet anyways on all the, the usual platforms and Spotify and everything. So I hope you enjoyed the concert and we'll keep tuned in to all the other Cardinal Krita events that are on over this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. 